Welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at more complex ways of drawing UML class diagrams using a variety of associations, um, including aggregation, composition, recursion, and inheritance. So, first of all, we need to open up Magic Draw, and we do that by going to the Start menu and selecting Magic Draw, which I already have as a Start menu item. It takes a while to load up. While it's loading up, I'll just mention two other items you should possibly have. One is the actual paper-based tutorial which I'm basing this on, which you can get from my website. We are class diagrams with Magic Draw, and we will be looking at this scenario here in detail, the narrative, which is about a primary care centre. And the other thing you should have also available on that website is a, a PDF document which is called Introduction to Class and Object Modeling using UML. It's pretty long, you can see 38 pages, it contains most of the details you want to know about. And if we actually start just by looking at aggregation and composition, which is a particular type of association, you can see there's a page about it there. And what is quite interesting is that really they are more, more complex types of associations. So we have standard associations, then we have aggregation, and then we have composition, which is the most stringent of the types. If we just look down, see there is an example. So composition is the most complex, as I say, and that is where you've got a coexistence. The parts depend upon the the whole, the aggregate class as it's called. And if the aggregate class dies, then all the bits die with it, the compositions. Um, again, I need to stress this is to do with context, because what one person might call aggregation, another one might call composition. So an example I have here is a person has organs, but to a priest it's clearly a composition. Organs can't exist without a person. But to an organ transplant coordinator, it's not really composition, it's aggregation. They certainly don't want the organs to die once the person has ceased. Right, let's get back to the matter in hand. And here's our Magic Draw. Magic Draw 16, you can create a project two ways. I'll create new project there, or create new project. I'll just go and file new project. I use a new method. Here we are, create new project. Using my paper-based tutorial, I'm going to try and follow the steps so I don't lose you and you can copy it. I called it PCC scenario. PCC scenario. There we are. And I've actually created a place already to store it, if you'll notice there. It's in my Magic Draw projects directory, PCC scenario. Create a directory to put it in. OK. Just a whole load of things in the background, and then we come up with a blank canvas. So, what we've got to do now is say we want to actually draw a new class diagram. You can do that two ways, either by choosing the option there, the little icon, or again, diagrams, class diagram, or notice you could have pressed Control 1. So, here we go, new class diagram. We've got to give it a name. This is just going to be a general overview. Not very original, I'm afraid. And click OK. So there's our blank canvas now to start drawing in. Right, if we go back to my document, which I'm following, we want an example, first of all, of aggregation or composition. So if we have a look actually at the first sentence, we've got something quite interesting there. The primary care centre consists of the employees, clients, voluntary workers and students. Well, I think that's a good example there of aggregation. And do is draw that now. Right, so we just click the class icon, click on the diagram, and type in our first name, which is PCC. It stands for Primary Care Centre, and then just click off it to say we're done. 
gain another class, click here, which is going to be employee. So we've got a PCC consists of employees. So what we've got to do now is to draw our composition association. So there is composition associations. The question is which way do we go? We drag it from the assembly the collection to the part. So we go click there and now we click there and we've got it. There we are. You can see our filled in diamond as you expect with composition. Right, what I'd like to do now is add the rest of the classes to it. And if you remember, they were client, voluntary worker, and student. So we do exactly the same again. Right, now we've got to draw navigation associations between each of these and the PCC. So remember, we go from the collection to the item each time. Composition, collection, item. Composition, collection, item. Composition, collection, item. And let's try and get them a little more neat. It's quite important. When I'm marking assignments, I hate seeing lines that aren't very neat. So that's everyone warned. I think that's quite neat. All right. So what we have is a good example there of composition. Remind ourselves what composition is. Going back to our diagram. Composition includes the constraint of coexistence. And if you look at the top of that page, which we will go to, can consider Aggregation composition as consists of. All right. So what we're saying is the PCC, its primary care centre, consists of employees, clients, voluntary workers, and students. Well, that's about it. Um, all I'd like to say is that aggregation is used quite often in diagrams and actually might be used more often than it should be. Um, I get suspicious sometimes when I see a diagram of large numbers of obligation associations and uh, nothing much else in it. Um, looking back at my material, um, I put a little paragraph in, I'll read it. Fowler, 2004, considered aggregation to be a problem because different people interpret differently. He says Jim Rambo in saying, think of it as a model in placebo. Um, and that's, I think, the danger. That if you don't know what to do with an association, you tend to think of it as being aggregation. So you just tend to whop it in the diagram. And I get suspicious when I see that. So be careful. Um, next tutorial, we'll be looking at recursion. Bye.